in this view um, or in this tutorial what we're going to do is set up a uh, four uh, framing plan as it says right here and this is the four flaming plan right here and we're going to go in and we're going to start with the finished floor to do that the first finished floor in the structural plans so i'm going to duplicate that once again as i did before and then uh, of course we can't see the framing because there's things covering it up so we'll fix that first but i'm going to rename this first so i'm going to rename this and we'll name it uh, one that one a dash uh, floor framing plan and then start like I said like I did before removing things so you know get rid hide that element uh, we don't need this wall so I'm going to zoom in here and hide those things um, I don't need the topography, so I'm definitely going to hide that. And then I don't need any of this. So let's hide that. And the site section. I don't need that. We could turn this off if they, if they were going to appear in this view. Uh, you can hide this by category. By category. And that'll get rid of, of those. Um, since the framing sits on top of the stem wall, uh, we really don't need uh, anything but overall dimensions. Uh, we may even want to remove, uh, since the framing isn't controlled, uh, only the piers were controlled by all these other, uh, we could come in here just to kind of simplify the drawing. Uh, some people would, some people wouldn't. Uh, hide in view by elements and hide in view by elements and then I might throw in a dimension from here to here and a dimension from here to here okay. um, now let's set the uh, the depth of this so that we can see our framing so I'm going to go back to the view by clicking on the view and go back into uh, view range. And here I'm going to set the view range. The cut plane right now is a foot above the first finished floor. I'm going to make it uh, two inches below it. And when I do that, of course, the plywood is removed. And now we can see the footing. Well, we don't want the footing. so to show up in this because once again it's part of the foundation not the framing hide and view uh, we'll just hide that by category and then we have the stem wall right there hide and view by category and so now we're down to uh, we could decide to leave the beams in here as a, a visual connection between the other if we wanted to or we could turn them off uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave them in because I think that makes a good visual connection uh, for someone reading the drawings uh, to see those beams there. And then uh, it, it's ready. Uh, it, I, we really don't need the property line. So I'm going to hide the property line, zoom in until we get a, a good framing of the information. We could play with the depth of those to be able to frame it a little bit better zoom in a little bit more um, but it's it's pretty much ready to go uh, the next thing I need to do of course I need to move that text out uh, the next thing I need to do is add uh, all the labeling uh, that I have here like the 2x6 wood beam 2x6 uh, wood joist rim joist sill plate so add those into there uh, you'll notice in this particular view, I did not uh, move the uh, or turn off the uh, lines. And once again, that's kind of a decision based on uh, the grit, you know, how effective uh, they are in communicating what it is you want to communicate. Uh, so uh, 
you can leave them on if you want to or turn them off okay so that's how to do a floor framing plan and uh, once you label it out then you're ready to go